Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky. Um, today we are going to finish up a 12 by 12 layout we started doing with the um, quiet videos. However, <laughs> when I finished up this layout yesterday, um, there was a lot of noise in the background. There was a lot going on at my house yesterday. So I, when I went to upload it, you know, without doing a voiceover, you can hear John talking on the phone in the background, walking around the house with the phone on speaker, talking about Jeep wheels and tires. So I didn't think we really wanted that in this video. So yes, I'm just gonna go ahead and voice over it. So you can see, we do still have out all of our leaves. I said that when we came back, we were gonna edit those leaves. So I am gonna be doing that. I end up totally rethinking the um, leaves that I colored with ink. So I pulled those out. I do keep these really pretty ones. I love this um, light green color right here. I do keep these ones and I keep the dark green ones as well. And of course I am gonna keep those toffee colored ones that we pulled out um, from the die cut sheet. So I'm just gonna go around this photo right here and commit to the placement of these little leaf pieces. They're very cute. I love this dye. It's that, um, I think it's called layered flowers, possibly. I love the leaves that come in this dye. They're so cute. Um, I do on one of them, look how I'm cutting this off right here. That leaf, that one single leaf that I cut off, I will use that one as well. I love those. I love the shape of them. They're so cute. So this video is going to be pretty long. It's like 21 minutes, but there's going to be pieces um, throughout this video where I'm not really going to talk, but you're not going to have background noise either. So I'm very sorry about that. Well, you might. Um, you might could hear the birds um, chatting. This adhesive that I'm using here is that Art Glitter Glue. I love this. That's my preferred liquid adhesive of choice. And no, you cannot get it at Close to My Heart, sadly. Um, you can get it on Amazon. The very first one where I got hooked on the Art Glitter Glue, I purchased from May May Made It, um, which actually is a good idea. It's a small shop. She's on YouTube, but it's a small shop. So that's why I initially got it there first, just to, you know, give her some business. And yeah, I'm hooked on it. <laughs> So now I do get it from Amazon because, you know, it's probably a little bit cheaper. Also delivers more quickly, so. Those leaves I cut out on pattern paper, while they are very cute, we aren't going to use those either on this layout. I will save them and put them aside and perhaps we can use them on a different layout coming up. I really like that flower that I'm playing with down there at the bottom. Gosh, that is so cute, but it just didn't look right on here. It's very thin. I was wondering if I could actually back that with something, but it's so delicate and thin. I'm afraid that I would um, ruin it mm. <laughs> if I backed it on something and then tried to cut out what I backed. So yeah, that's probably not going to work. I think what would be best for me with that flower piece would just to be um, use it on something where I have a white background, kind of like this, um, but maybe tuck it under something. It'd look really cute. I possibly could have tucked it under the right hand side of this photo and it might have looked um, okay, but hmm. I did finish this layout and I do like how it came out. Although I will say I had different plans for this layout going into it. Um, that's what started those quiet videos was I had found all this stuff on my desk when I was cleaning it up. I mean, obviously I knew it was there. It's new stuff. But yeah, when I was going to put them away, I got really intrigued by them and um, came up with an idea. So I just stopped cleaning and started working on this instead. But because it took me, I kept leaving and coming back to it. Um, yeah, I kind of lost what I my original intent was but that's okay see that doesn't look too bad with the flower up on top I don't like it the flower there with the heart but yeah that's probably how I'm going to be using that uh, piece it is beautiful and delicate I just I'd love to back it I just don't think I have that kind of um, talent <laughs> to back something so thin and delicate I do take these other really really delicate leaves and I put them down around the 
page with the other leaves. I just blend them in. I wanted to get some more of the toffee colors. And in fact, those leaves right there are actually the ones that kicked off this layout to begin with. So yes, they had to be used. seems that I stepped away for a minute. I do believe that I had to go get my other glue. I have two bottles of this. Um, we were going to have a girl's day Tuesday. Um, my, my neighbor, my girlfriend neighbor and I were, we were going to go out shopping. Well, I texted her. I was like, can we stay home and scrap and order DoorDash <laughs> to get something to eat? And she goes, yeah. And so I got out some scrapbooking stuff, moved it to the living room I thought we'd work on some eight and a half by 11s um like a maybe about me um album or something anyway she got busy doing something and didn't show up but I still had a, a girl's day to myself I still did stand in the living room and I made two eight and a half by 11 layouts I'll show you guys those later in a layout share but yes I decided I'm not gonna do um an about me album well not for those pages I got to thinking that day as I was standing there doing those eight and a half by eleven papers I was thinking that man you know what I want an album so that you know if something happens to me this is the album you go to and look at right because I have 827 albums that can be swamped right for my loved ones to go looking through them that's a lot of albums but if I have just one small eight and a half by 11 really important album that I think I will call If I Die Before I Wake, that's where I'm getting, I'm gonna um, do layouts with love letters to, you know, my family and people that I think I might have something to say to when I die or if I die. <laughs> I know that's kind of morbid, but whatever, you know, eh, whatever. But then they could just pull out that one little eight and a half by 11 album that's If I Die Before I Wake and see your little love letter. It'll suck if that happens a little too soon and I have love letters to like some people, but not everybody. And people think, oh, she just didn't love me. Didn't write me a love letter in her If I Die Before I Wake album. That would suck. All right, I am still committing to the placement of all of these. Apparently, I could have done much better with my editing, and I am very sorry. Um, I, like I said, I did already edit this once, and when I went back and listened, I heard all of the background sounds, so I had to kind of restart the, the editing part of this project. And so, yeah. Here I am pulling out some background papers, thinking, um, trying to find what I might use. I wanted to use this white because, you know, I wanted that toffee to, and those leaves to pop off of it. So I am using this as my, you know, background just for my cluster and my photos. And now I'm looking through the other bits I got from this Hope and Kindness collection by Close to My Heart. I do love that toffee colored flower paper. And we are going to pull that in. That zip strip on it, so cute. It's um, kind of a, it's a, like a navy blue. I think it's our harbor color. Not 100% sure, but it has these little teeny tiny hearts on them. So cute. I would have left that on there, but the hearts are going in the wrong direction. So we're not going to be using that. I will um, cut that strip off and just use it like this a little bit on each side. And then see how that other paper has those stripes, the white stripes. I think we're going to flip that over. Bam. And on the other side, it looks almost like um, a tweed fabric is what it looked like on there. Um, oh guys, I totally fibbed. I am going to use this green one instead. I sold, I totally forgot. And I am going to use the tweed side of this. These card stocks that go with this hope and kindness collection, one side, they almost look washed kind of with a paintbrush. You can kind of see some paint strokes in it. And the opposite side, you can see texture from a fabric piece, which I'm thinking is tweed, but I could be wrong. Yes, I forgot. I do end up using that really pretty light green um, cardstock instead. And again, it appears, it appears like I disappeared. So sorry about that. I do like that striped paper. I didn't um, really want the pattern on a pattern though. I didn't want the stripe and the toffee colored flower but I really wanted to use a flower too so yeah had to make some decisions 
Here I am looking at the sticker sheet, seeing if there's anything else on there I might like to use. I don't find anything on this sticker sheet, but on one of the papers, there's a cut apart sheet. And there's this right here, this little piece right here. It says better together. I'm gonna fussy cut that out. I liked, I was going based on the green. And luckily, um, the photo I'm doing is Adele and her dad. So better together would probably kind of fit, right? Just gonna trim this out. This is a very simple cut. Obviously, you just got a couple straight lines, so it's very easy to cut out um, these types of pieces. I will end up putting some foam tape behind it. I'm going to shop it around the page. I thought, mm, better together, love. Mm, no. We are going to stick it down here in this bottom left corner. Right like that. I'm going to end up covering up some of my leaves. Boo. But that's okay. I love that color. And... You know, obviously it's the same color as, the, as those leaves I said I really liked too. So there you go. How annoying are is those or are those bird sounds to you in the background? <laughs> Sitting outside this morning, I think it's like seven, seven o'clock now. So they're still out serenading. School buses just went by. Taking the little ones to school. Gonna get rid of the zip strip. I cut it a little crooked. So right there I was, um, I had left some of the blue from the zip strip on the paper. So I went ahead and trimmed it off again. I do still cut crooked uh, quite a bit. And I think now mostly it's because I'm using my VersaPad. And when I use the Fiskars trimmer, uh, I think it gets a little off balance. I don't think the Fiskars trimmer is quite long enough to reach either end of that Versa versa mat so it kind of is a little lopsided when I put my trimmer down there probably shouldn't do that but hmm, it's okay I am not a professional we hand make stuff so it's fine do you guys enjoy coffee I'm sitting out here this morning with some coffee I put this today, I put a little bit of French vanilla creamer in it, which I don't usually use the French vanilla, but I put a little French vanilla creamer in it. It's very delicious for 7 a.m. Okay, we're going to go ahead and commit to the placement of this. I think, if I'm remembering correctly, I think I had a hard time when I first put this down. I was putting it down a little bit crooked. I think I actually might even pull out a... Uh, T-square ruler. You can believe that. So because I put that in cluster down on the table, not directly onto this piece of paper, I had to go and glue um, some of the bits onto the paper and just so it's, it's so it's secured a little bit better on there. Now, looking back at this, you know, um, we started with scraps and die, die cuts, basically. Well, behind that love, I did use a piece of paper that was a scrap that was with this collection, and it's kind of this mulberry color. Um, it's a pink. So looking back at this, I don't have any other pink on this layout. So perhaps if I had to redo this, I might would not use green as the background color for that love. I probably would have used this light, or not green, pink. I probably would have used this light green instead. so cute I've had this photo um, printed for a while and I don't know why I just haven't had an opportunity to just scrapbook it yet um, I feel like this is a couple years old this is where we're gonna put down the better together and I do make some of those leaves go on top of the little die cut and kind of overlap it onto it you see how that's over um, like the toffee color and the green color are sticking over that better together. That is so cute. I love how that is. We're going to tuck a little dark green down here as well. And I do believe I'm going to um, get a little bit of that dark green color up, up, up at the top. You can see right now we don't have anything up there that is in the dark green. I think I'm going to move some uh, dark green up there.
I'm trying not my best not to talk, 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 talk. <laughs> I'm so used to filling up the silence with my voice, and I'm trying not to do that so much. Guys, see, it looks like I only put one green flower up at top. I wonder if I put anything else up there under that love. I don't remember, and I don't have this layout right in front of me, but it sure could use something over the left-hand side of that heart, I think. It looks like this design is really cool. All of these elements are over to the left of the photo, and we keep that right-hand side pretty clean. I really like how that looks. Oh, yes, here are some more um, of those die cuts. I pull out several of the little hearts and play with them down around the page. I don't end up using them, though, but I am going to um, shop them around. I thought I would use them. It's this particular uh, pieces up at the top. I could not get to look just right. Um, I didn't I don't feel like I had enough variations in the sizes of the hearts to really put two together up there. So, yeah, see. I mean, looking back, I guess it doesn't look too bad, but yeah, I didn't like it. So we're going to end up um, pushing those to the side. For my finishing touches on this particular one, I will be using sequins. Now, did you see I just tried to put one of those little pieces in the middle of that flower? I will pull out a white enamel dot and put it in the center of that flower and then um, put sequins down around the rest of the page. I think that's what I'm doing. I think I'm off um, getting my sequins, getting my sequins box. Yes, um, I pulled. I wasn't sure, so I pulled out some gold glitter gems, some white enamel dots. I always get the black and white enamel dots from close to my heart, and it. I feel like I always will. Actually, you can see in that pack they're all white. I use the black more than I use the white. I do love the white, and here's why. Those white enamel dots, you can take your Spectrum Noir markers and color them any color you want. And they don't have to be Spectrum Noir markers, any alcohol marker, actually. You can take and color those white enamel dots. That's why the white is so good, but you can see I use black a lot, so I do have a lot of this white left over. I think there's, I don't know, this one little pack is full of white. Um, it's probably two or three packs of white in that one little pack because I've used the black out of all of them. So anyways, I did put a white enamel dot right in the center of that flower. That looks cute, right? And then I'm just gonna um, put sequins down around the page. Now I dumped the sequins out. This sequins pack, it's got these like little clear stars, very cute. There's some shiny gold, but what I'm using is more of this dulled down um, kind of champagne color. There's not a whole lot of it in this sequins, this sequin pack, but I am able to find enough. There are three different sizes of the champagne color in this pack. There's the large, medium, and then this teeny tiny small. I am running out of them, so it was kind of hard to find a bunch of the medium size or the small size. I do have plenty of large ones, but I have used this sequins pack, the sequin pack before for that same color. I love that because um, it's it's kind of a metal tone, even though it's champagne color, but it's not glossy. It's, it's, it's more matte. It's not shiny like the gold is. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous and subtle. It looks really good with that toffee color. So I'm going to go back and just put these sequins down with my art glitter glue. Sometimes I'll use glue dots, but because these ones were so tiny, I had two tiny or three tiny little sequins, I decided I would just use art glitter glue. Now I am gone again right here. I'm away looking for my, well, I know where my pickup tool is. I picked it up from close to my heart. I knew where that was, but I was looking for my, um, pencil sharpener that used to be sitting on my desk. The pickup stick is basically a wax pencil and you sharpen the tip and it just, it grips onto, you know, your sequins or die cuts or whatever small piece you're trying to um, put down. So I couldn't find my pencil sharpener. So I just use it the way that it was, which is fine, but it does stick a lot better 
to the sequin if um, it is has a sharper tip in my experience I, see I was just wiping the glue on my hand it got because it got it went through the hole and got onto my um stick these are really cute I keep saying I'm gonna uh, purchase one and send to my sister and I keep forgetting to do it they actually come in packs of two I like these for our or diamond paintings as well which I haven't done in about a month I go back and forth on them I'll complete one and then I won't do one for another couple months and then I'll complete one and then I won't do one for a couple months so yeah okay guys after I do that I don't think I'm doing anything else to this layout I want to thank you so much for joining me sorry this isn't a very well edited video it's in the interest of time that um yeah I am going to be out of town toward the end of May don't worry I have someone house sitting but I will be out of town for the end of May so if you guys don't hear from me for about a week everything is fine um finally get to take Jim to Arlington so yes that's where I will be hanging out at all right, guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like to support my channel, check the links down below and pick yourself something up. Maybe a pickup stick over at close, beckybidding.closetomyheart.com. All right, bye, guys.